Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Monster Sanctuary. Monster Sanctuary, back again. After my unfortunate events with work. Yeah, well, it's fine. It oh, happens. we're here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you can explore the right side. I would do that before going down. Yep. Water. Or is it ice? It's water. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's not you. It could be neither of these guys. You you have one. It's Maybe not you? on this page. It's on this page. Several, actually. Several on this page. Uh, at least at least one. Maybe a second one. There you go. Let's narrow it down to that. Okay, so that's three and four. This is two. Oh, or none. Is it? Let's see, I'm trying to kiss it. No. So close. I wonder if a different monster, if I have one, that gives me a better advantage on reach. We're trying to hit these switches. No, I think you just have two bubble bursts. You almost made it. You just got to be a little bit quicker. Oh, so close. All right, so, so you hesitated right at the start. As soon as you see the teleport, yeah, just boom. That'll give you enough time. There you go. Yeah, there we go. So that's just three. Do we have any mixed attackers that want that? Yeah, we do. No, Zedra wants crit chance, though. Yeah. Actually, this might be good on Almadron. Almadron, yeah. Real good. Because this is a very tanky monster. Yep. Speaking about monsters... Uh, was it Daybreak? Is Daybreak out yet for, Sun, uh... Sunbreak? No, not yet. Sunbreak? We'd be recording it. <laughs> yeah. If it was out, we'd be recording it. It's it's not until next month, I think. Or maybe gotcha. a month after? I forget, but not this month. Water. Earth, water. Could be my other set of monsters, then. Yeah. Sure. All right, let's get this down again. So supporting skills first. Yep. All right, so this one. And then big hits and then the single target, big damage. Yep. Let's do this. And then poison bomb. Yeah, makes sense. This should kill as long as if it gets... We got all three poison ticks. Oh, uh, not quite. We also didn't get burned. Yeah. All right, let's get a uh, let's get a heal. Life wave. Life wave. Plenty yes. strong. Yeah. Let's get that. And gave camera. buffs. And gave buffs. Let's kill. All right, so. Let's see. Five hits. Six hits. Six Beating hits here. on that. Yep. Yep. Guarantee the kill with the poison. And then using... Spore? This is good. Or, or, or do you want to go for the other snake? Other snake, I think. All right. Shock, armor break, burn, weakness. Gotta love it. It's a lot of, a lot of status effects. All right, I'm a drone. Let's get a heal. Makes sense. Yep. Ooh. Gotta love that channel. Let's get Acid Rain to finish this one off. And then the Mantis is weak to Earth. Yep, let's get a Poison Bomb. Poison Bomb. 
Let's go. All right, two stacks is pretty good. Uh, Three I stacks wonder for a lot. if Spore. See how much damage Almadron does. Slime shot. Let's give Almadron yes. an attack this round. And then finish off with Poison Bomb. Yep. Or Spore. Doesn't matter. Getting back nice. into the swing of things. Yeah. Four, Four stars. stars pretty good. Pretty good. No Same eggs. Yeah, that's not that's allowed. Normal. Yeah. Not, mm -hmm. I didn't get two stars, so I didn't get any eggs. Correct. All right, let's uh, let's get a rock for that. Well, before that, even you get skill points. I do. Let's see. Probably one of these. Damage or mana proc or overcast. Oh All good. goodness. You got two mana procs. You got an overcast. Or you can let's, get. Let's get a three. mana proc. There's a lot of mana okay. on this guy. Alright. Yeah. One more skill point. I was saving that. Oh, are you? Oh, you're saving yes. it for 20. That's I'm right. Saving it for okay. 20. Okay. I remembered that. It's like the one thing I remembered. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Alright. <laughs> A Madron Evolution. Whatever could you mean? Alright, supporting skill. Um Acid Ray. Poison Bomb. Sure. Yeah. Hope for three poison ticks. Let's go. Yep. Doesn't kill, but give me one attack away like last time. Get a heal. Into poison bomb or no beating. I think probably. At... You think beating? Well, what does okay so that will guarantee snake dies yep what does retinazer do against the nikki knockers it re doesn't resist voltage doesn't resist ignite resists spore and acid rain yeah so if, res if it resists spore it'll also resist poison bomb right yes so, so he's beating here he's beating there yeah and then uh, probably ignite. Probably ignite. We get some dots going. Also take out its regeneration. That's also pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Slime mm. shot for some poison spreading or full defense for the combo build. Not that you need it really. I Although I guess you could actually does more combo because it's three. Uh, this is five hits while the uh, full okay. defense is three. But also putting some defense up on your one member weak to their slime shots wouldn't be awful. Just we can see what happens after this round. If you need it, you yeah, need it. Yeah, we'll right. see. Let's try to focus down on target. Makes sense to me. Uh, I would put voltage on it. Beating and then or voltage no. first, right? voltage first and then you could still go for the poison bomb for the poison ticks all right it's not it's not even that bad with this much combo let's go not too bad not too bad that's what i mean it is yeah. to magic so you could do a full defense let's try that out if they ignite uh, so the beating. Ignite or full. Uh, beating. It'll beating die because it doesn't have regen. Into ignite on the other. Into ignite on the other one. Makes sense to me. Yeah. All right. All right. You're, you're back in the swing of it now. So I will talk about what I've been doing. What have you been I read, doing? I read. I read some books. You read some books. Yeah. Did what you know yeah. that there are three Guild Wars books? Ah, those books. Yes, I indeed I didn't know about those books. All right. Uh, How were they? Okay, so here's the thing. These books have varying levels of relevance to the plot. 
And, and varying levels of how good they are. I see. Those two things, whether or not that was intended, probably you never intend for a book to be bad, but yeah. like it just so happens that the less the books have to do with the plot of the games, the better they were. The less they have to do with the plot of the games, the better they were. Now, that's, that's interesting. Not, yeah, so the thing is, is that they're all canon. So it's not like they just went off and right, right, did whatever. But it is interesting that weakness causes super increased damage. That's, that's a pretty good passive. This um, is also pretty good. Yes, dominance is also really good because that doesn't just apply that's to you. Aura. Yeah. Yes. Okay. See, I, I was leaning towards Giant Spain, but I think we'll level that, up before we face our next boss, and it's only 5%. Well, this is... That's 10%. Three per and debuff. Three per, and this yep. is 10%. And 10 yeah. Yep. You don't ever actually want to take the combo initiator on this guy. Yeah, because you want to end with the boys and bombs. Now, I can show you my build later. That used, uh, like, I had, a, I had a boss. I don't know if it still works after some updates, but I had a boss murdering build yeah. that used two spores. Two spores, you say. And a third monster. Interesting. And one spore did initiate the combos. Because beating with that move. Oh, I bet. More weakness with that move. Either arm. But either way. Uh yeah, so okay, the three books uh, were called uh let's see, in in order, they were Ghosts of Ascal. Ghosts Edge of, of Ascalon? Ascalon? Ascalon. Gotcha. Edge of Destiny and Sea of Sorrows. Uh, I can't quite place... I can't quite place um, the, the first two books in relation to each other, but they all take... All three books take place before the plot of Guild Wars 2. Gotcha. If I had to guess, I would say Edge of Destiny is the closest to the plot of the games, and then a little bit farther back is Ghosts of Ascalon, and then finally, really far back, is Sea of Stars. But that is actually also the order in which they're good. <laughs> Interesting. Sea of Sorrows was the best one by far and had almost nothing to do with the games, aside from the fact that it was uh, some events that took place in the game's history. Um, Ghosts of Ascalon has a little bit more to do with the plot of the games, and in fact, there are a couple characters that you meet in the games. Yeah. Right? And that one was also pretty good. And then Edge of Destiny, which directly is about Destiny's Edge. AKA the guild that your your mentor uh when the fir in the first you know few levels of of the personal story. Yeah. Uh is, is the, the guild that they're from. Uh that that book was not good. Uh, no, okay. Despite being the most relevant book, because it's like, why why do all of these people hate each other at the start of the game? Interesting. That's unfortunate. Yes. So I would say if you're if you're interested in the like the lore of of the world, it's important to read, but it kind of sucks to get through. Interesting. That's uh, kind of disappointing. A little bit. It's not objectively horrible, but boy, is it not amazing. It, they're pretty quick, though. Like, I finished each one in like two or three days. They're like, what, 400? Yeah. That's not too bad. Looks they were kind of... They're kind of flip floppy, but other than that, not too bad. Yeah.
Now, I will say, the events of uh, Edge of Destiny get recounted after the fact in the uh, dungeon stories. Still hope to do those. Yeah. Just in general. I, myself, I've only done maybe half of them. Interesting. And now I know the full story because that's the book sure covers that. Yep. I messed that up. I messed this up. No, no. Okay, it has a poison stag. I thought for well, some also, reason that it wouldn't also, kill it. Yeah, also, bonus hits. <laughs> and for, oh, hey, five stars. Let's go. Oh, you already have a blade widow, but that guitar is pretty good. Extra egg. Something to donate. Yep. Wool. That just seems like a very suspicious wall. Yeah, no, worth a check. Uh, suspicious particle that. effects. Nah, it's fine. All right, let's open this way back. Uh, it's a good shortcut. There we go. Yeah. So you've been reading. Have you been playing any games? Um, Rogue Legacy Two. Rogue Legacy 2. I've been meaning to play that more. I liked the concept of the first one, and what I hear is the second one is Rogue Legacy 2.0. It, 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 I mean, it sure is Rogue Legacy, but more. Yeah. Uh, um, for some reason, the first one didn't grip me. I never finished it. Interesting. This one is better. Yeah enough that I'm probably going to finish it. I mean, I would think that you would at least stick with it for quite a while, considering that you really like Vampire Survivors, and they're all the same kind of... They're, they're kind of the same kind of game, but I would not, not the same say game. That. No? <laughs> I would not say that. I love Vampire Survivors. Can't get enough of it. This game, at some points, I'm like, I feel like I'm forcing myself. Okay. Interesting. What's your favorite uh, class archetype so far? At the moment, uh, I'm trying to get what's it called, Astromancer, to work, but it's it feels a little weak. My favorite class is Valkyrie. Valkyrie. That's the one where you don't heal. So you do heal, but you lose max HP on hit or like on damage. What? Or is it a different class? Class? Or the, the archetype, not like Val Valkyrie. I forget, but I was playing Rogue Legacy too. I, that's a, that's a trait you Or is that have. a trait? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, where you regen health, but you lose max HP every time you take damage. Yes. Yeah, that's a trait you can have. Gotcha. No, Val Valkyrie is the class with the pole arm that can attack up, down, up and down. Gotcha. As well as forward. Yep. Nice. Oh, no eggs. All right. Some skill points going. We want here. Shield is good. Sorcery is good. Sorcery, yeah. sorcery granting shield is good. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean, literally, there's a shield on the middle tree. Yeah. Sorcery granting shield. But uh, there's also these passives you skipped over. Combo shielding. There are passives. Pretty good. The one right above that's pretty good. Yeah. Go with that one. Sure. Be good. How right. much runs? Slime shots a thing. Single target heals a thing. Buffing heals a thing. So that's the one. So the reason why this one's pretty good. Yeah. Is for after your opening salvo, after your 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 support buff, and then everyone goes off on their first turn. 
yeah. the enemy swings back, right? And you typically have one monster that's taken a little bit more damage, the one that you want to heal. Yes. Right? You cast full support on it. Right. And then it will it will be and healed. It gets a decent it gets a decent sized heal on top of that. Yeah. Okay. I think that's, that's the like, one I'm aiming like for that. here. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Let's go yeah. with this one. And then you can grab healer slime shot next. Yeah. Alright, let's open up this pathway. Uh yeah. That's interesting. Slime shot. You can't walk forward in front of them. Oh no, those they're solid for whatever reason. That's not the right one. I, want... I think your your guy your electric guy does it, right? Yeah. In, in your party. At the top. Oh, yeah, lightning. Yeah. I was looking for the uh the knight, the zap knight. He's also there, third third row. There he is, yeah. Yeah, but like <laughs> you got a guy in your party. Yep. Alright, we're going to the left now. Yeah, we are going to the left. Actually, we can't go up to the left, so let's go down nope. to the right. We can't go down to the right. Maybe. I mean, you can you can go over there and see. I'll, I'll try. We we'll, see, we'll yeah. see what happens. Not allowed. Okay. Yeah, it's a one-way door, I believe. Yep. So, back to the left. To the actual to intended the left. path. To the intended path, indeed. Yeah, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV. Yep. More of that. I finished uh, 3.3. Which is after the first expansion, Heaven's Ward. Okay. Because you might think it's 3.3. Why is that the first expansion? Shouldn't that be two? It's like, no, that's when they remade the entire game. Yeah. Yeah. The game starts at 2.0 now, right? Yeah. All right. So I guess I get an item here. Either, either I get an item here or um, I either clear out the water. The item I think I'm gonna get. What is that guy? It's like Hypno. Psycho Phantom. Psycho Phantom. Psycho Phantom. Psycho Phantom. Interesting. Okay. Looks like I go with this team again. Is the coverage? Sure. Well, I mean that's just what Red Nazar. That's just what Red Nazar does, right? Has all the coverage. Let's play with the other team. Sure. We so haven't happens. in a bit. Okay, so team play. That's so that remember that's barrier and sidekick. Barrier open with him. And si well, probably a sorcery that's then. Barrier and sorcery, and then what does the other one have? Regen and sorcery. No, sidekick and regen. So <laughs> and barrier and sorcery. So if you do, if you, I'm if you do, done. if you do barrier and sorcery here. Right here. And regen and sidekick on the other one, then you can get all four buffs. Regen sidekick. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is regen and agility. Right. Okay. No sidekick. Yeah, that's fine. This is a sidekick though. But it's a waste. <laughs> it is it is kind of a waste. You let's, should do uh, some damage, such as possibly one shotting. Let's let's, let's, let's throw uh, ice bolt here. That's Aww. unfortunate. I even got the trait that lets me get 10% more crit chance on a water type yep. abilities. Restore. Seems good. Yeah. All right, now you can do some zap. Charge beam is probably the main one you want to use, I think. Again, or I don't. The AOE. I don't like this this layout, specifically the side to side. Anyway, I'm, I wonder why, because it just lets you see all the icons of the skills, you know, where everything is. Well, true. I think it deviates too much from like the. How do I explain it? It's it's like why every game that uses like a keyboard for using movement is WASD. It's like it, it deviates too much from the standard from at least the games that I've played so far where I don't expect that this is a thing that I can do. And because I've played so many games that don't do that, I don't 
realize that this is there even if it's in this game and I've been playing it for a while. I don't know. It's probably just me, but it just throws me off so much. I don't know. It, it might be. I adapted to it pretty easily. Yeah. Hmm. Oops. Probably want to start with these lightning attacks. End with this. All right. Wait, you want to end with solar rays? Lightning have... into solar ray into snowball okay. or something. Okay. Yeah, well, that's what I would do. Yeah. You already have two sorcery? Yes. But you can get three. Can I get three? I probably can. Well, there's no such thing as two sorcery unless right. the monster unless a monster has a specific uh, other ability that we'll get to later. But at the moment you're in multiples of three. Or sorry, not multiples of three. Uh you're at plus two or plus four. Plus six. You can have three you can have one, three, five, or seven stacks max. Depending on how many multi sorceries you have in the party. You you won't you won't get an even number at the cap as well. Hey. Didn't kill him. Alright, well. Let's get those stacks. Three, five. Yeah, uh, here you could five. voltage for the for the combo. And then... Seven combo. The burn and then the snowball. Yeah, solar rays doesn't burn though. It doesn't burn. It's a fire tag, so it's a burn. I know. Regenerated? Okay. Use heal? Yeah. And get the kill? Yeah. Oh, come on. I know, right? Not allowed. Not Didn't allowed. get two stars. Anyway, you got a skill point. I do have a skill point. I'll check that in a second. Wait, do you actually have... I don't know if you have this ability. What, fire orb? Or is it a specific version of the fire attack that gets you to range I mean, look at, look at, look at, look at Ninky's slime shot versus uh, any other earth orb activation, right? Yeah, you're right. That one's got range range it does oh no cascade mana proc aging the, the, the rude the rude fatal upkeep the rude <laughs> let's I mean, look the, at it yeah let's get the rude that is indeed very rude you have that one though i do have that one Earth and yeah. This team, there we go. Alright, let's get the support out. Let's get the spore into uh, a poison bomb. Yeah, that'll do it. Only oh well, I say only one poison stack, but they're twenty percent more effective now. <laughs> they are twenty percent more effective. Get the heal. Four. The poison bomb. That's really good. Yeah. All right. So let's put weakness first. Doesn't it resist? It does okay. resist that type of attack. However, the, the weakness is what I really wanted first. And I might as well attack. Sure. Uh, I do have this attack. Yeah, you have Aqua Blast. Let's do beating. Let's do poison actually first. Yeah. Get a poison, poison attack and Go for the poison stacks. There we go. There they and are. then end with this attack. Yeah. Okay. 
We're close. Why? Why weakness? Why weakness is because of Spore's ability that makes weakness. Those who have weakness take ten percent more damage. Yeah, but but you could have armor broke. True. <laughs> I don't know if that would have finished the fight though. Alternatively, uh, it could have ignited. I would have done it. Yeah. Just an interesting choice. But it's that's not something you should be using as your primary source of debuffing, you know? Like the burn would have done more. That's all. Probably. But you still did pretty well. Not too bad. One more level twenty. 